Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Wag one, Bolt. Wag one, Shams. I can't hear Sham, but I can hear Madonna, 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 Madonna. Sham. You're mute, Sham. You're mute. <laughs> Sham. The airport shake him on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we now hear you. I want one. Oh, we are here now. Yeah. Almost two years. I don't give up. Buy magazine. Wow. Boom shot. Wow. Can you hear me? Good. We can hear you good. And proper now, thank you guys so much for taking the time out to be here with Vibe Magazine and Boom Shots. And just want to say, it's such an honor to be here to talk to two legends because, you know, you guys have been pretty legendary in what you've been doing up until now. But I want to say congratulations on this song, Lockdown. It means so much more than just the music. I know there's a lot of great messaging in this song too. I want to get into the whole thing about how you guys linked and everything. But, you know, I want to just start off by just making sure everybody here at the audience of Vibe know who we are talking to because I know we're going to get into some deep stuff. But, you know, before we come on, you always say lawless, Sham. You always say lawless. Anytime somebody in the dance hall says Lawless, we know it's Team Sham. What does yes. Lawless represent? Well, Lawless represents not allowing anyone to box you in, you know what I mean? No one to put you in a corner, no one to put you in a box. That's allow you to do what you want to do, you know what I mean? The world is there. Well, wherever you dream, where whatever you aspire, you can go out and do it. That's what Lawless really represents. Mankind kind of kind of created borders and fences and walls and, and bridges, you know what I mean? for their own financial game and lawless kind of break down all of that. You know what I mean? That's what lawless means. You know, well, you know, respect to artists like you because, you know, there is a, it's like an encouragement for people to still think for themselves, to still yes. think outside of, as you said, a box or being put in a box. And, you know, both of you in your own fields have been doing that for so long, which is why this collaboration is so cool. Actually, I worked out, and I mean, I'm just trying to flex here, but you know, it's a Sherwood content and a Sherlock Crescent collab, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a city and town collaboration, and and you know, this is something that's amazing because you know, you guys are also really represent unity, not just in dance but in general. This is something that's really cool because you think about like fashion, music. Uh, all that stuff goes together but this is you guys like really putting it together and showing that and before we go get into that I know I saw on your IG sham that you said you know in 9.58 seconds we cook up lockdown <laughs> you know the song is actually three minutes long so you guys must have been wrapping your asses off <laughs> No, that, that was how quick it was. It felt really quick and it felt, it felt smooth and it felt like, like we, weren't, we weren't, it's not like we were trying. The, the chemistry just felt natural, you know what I mean? It felt, vibe, for, for me, working with, with Usain for the first time, musically, it felt natural. And I think that come from, from us vibing before and, and me kind of wanted to do the best for him and him kind of wanted to do the best for me just the same so they would make sure that the, the, the mix was right that everything was right down to the T the details you know what I mean just those little details and, and it's important when you're doing something like this that you have some farmer chemistry you know what I mean oh. you look out for each other that way you look out for the genre you look out for the culture you know what I mean and I think we have, we have hit the nail on the head with that well with much of dancehall it's the idea of vibes, right? You can't bottle that up and sure. sell that. You got to have the vibe. You got to feel the vibe, and it's clear that the connection is there. Shan, you've done legendary work. You know, in we all, you know, the world knows you have done. You've done collabs from like Alicia Keys' Ghetto Story, which was a worldwide smash. You've collabed with people like Rihanna, Damien, Bounty. Shout out to Killer. Shout out to Damien. Junior, you know, <laughs> done some legendary work with people like Dave Kelly out of the whole Madhouse. How can you know the catalog goes on and on and on? So, what does it feel like now to be able to work with another legend? Bold. For me, it's an honor. It's an honor. I kind of 
know what he wants to do, he and his team striving to, to basically just take over that space, just to, just to really just explore him, 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 him prowess and his talent in that space, music, you know what I mean? And, and whatever we can do on our end, whether it's lyrically, whether it's lending our vocal, we have to do it, you know what I mean? It's one of them things where, when you see, for instance, a DJ Kali, is a reason why all of these artists kind of come together and, and give him the strength. It's not because of, of, of monetary or, or anything like that. It's you, you see him and he's doing his thing and he's doing it to the highest level and they're supporting him to the fullest, you know what I mean? But for all of them to take the time out to record, we know how hard it is to get everyone on the same page. And all of them take the time out to record what they're doing. We kind of need more of that within our genre. And I think Hussein is the perfect person that's, that's, that's basically tailored for this, for this venture, you know what I mean? And I think the music kind of needs this right now. It needs something fresh, it needs something new, it needs new ideas, it needs new, new bloods coming in, you know what I mean? And, and, and you can see that, that, that Hussein and his team is, is doing a great job on that side. Respect, respect. And Bolt, I want to just shout, I know we're here to talk about lockdown and all this works, but I want to shout you out for starting off the year for all of us with living the dream. You know, it was crazy January hit and that song came out and was so inspirational. We've, we'd already had such a crazy 2020, you know, yeah. and that song, actually that song, you and the song ended up as the cover of my Murder, She Wrote column. It's a dance or column that has had so much life, but is currently on Tidal. I want to shout out the Tidal Massive. I'm the reggae and dance with right there, but all the people there creating great playlists and people checking out. But the column is on there. You were the cover of it because living the dream felt so right for that moment because we had gone through so much craziness. And to be honest with you, if we're still living, it's like kind of amazing. Yeah, man, we just, we, the aim was just to inspire, you know, just to inspire people, you understand, because we're going through a tough time, so we knew a lot of people were down and down on their luck, and we're just trying to say, listen, don't give up, you understand, because I started out with nothing, Sham started out with nothing, but we never gave up, no matter what was going on, we're always pushing, we're always being determined, and just working hard, and now we're living the dream, so... That's just what we're trying to show people that the hard work that we put in, this is why we can live and do certain things. And if you want it, just work for it. You understand? Don't let anybody tell you that no. Because you're from the ghetto or you're from the country, you can't make it. You understand? Because you're from this situation, because you're from that situation, you can't make it. So for me, the key thing was just to, to try to inspire as much youth and not even youth, but everybody in general. Now listen to me, just, just continue working and continue staying focused and believe in yourself. Well, on your social media, you have a really powerful quote that says, anything is possible, I don't think, think or limits. I don't think limits. Man, I live by that. That's, that's something because when I was growing up, I came by that and when I was growing up, people always say anything is possible. You understand? But I knew that. But the fact that I got to a level that I never personally expected that I could get to both. So I said, you know what? Why do I keep setting limits for myself? And that's how I came up with that. Anything is possible, don't think limits. You understand? Don't limit yourself to any one thing or to, to anything. Because now I'm in the music, my aim is to win a Grammy. You understand? I want to reach to the pinnacle, to the highest level of music or production. You understand? So yes, sir. I mean, I'll never limit myself. No matter what no one says or no one might think. I'm going to work hard because I'm always going to believe in what I am doing and believe in the people that are around me to, to help push and to guide myself and to uplift everybody. I love what you said, uh, like you said about, you know, uh, just seeing a kid from town, seeing a kid from city, you know, coming together. And actually people can believe, seeing is believing. Yes, yeah, seeing and is I think believing. You both, you both represent that because people have actually seen you both from like the day one. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Bolt, we've seen you on track and field day one. Sham, you know, we were just celebrating you when I was here with Spice the other day saying, you know, big up to Spice. Because I remember in the uh, in the video, you guys are like from day one people. And, you know, just to see both of you getting to this level. Now I'm coming to Jamaica and going to track some records or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. make ups, you know, like it's... <laughs> yeah. Well, you've set you've set records, you've set worldwide records, 
and you've broken your own records, you know, and now you're uh, making dancehall records. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the key thing. And listen, music was always a part of me, you know, as you can see from the first time when I won in Beijing at the Olympics, and I was always dancing, you understand? Music was just always a part of me. So the, the fact that I get to work with Baby Sham, you understand, is, is a big thing. You understand? Because we grew up on their music. We grew up on the music. So for it's me, it's just an honor. The fact that me know him and meet him and can call him and say, yo, my G, where you going with? Me have a, me have a track. Why you do something for me? It's, it's, it's a different feeling, you understand? Because you grew up and listen to the music. I understand. So it's always just something big. I understand. So music, I'm looking forward to just continuing making more projects and doing big things. And you mentioned, you know, when you were at the Beijing and you, world, you won the World Cup, just for those who might not remember, you bust out in the Gully Creeper, right? Yeah. That was like... and Gully Creeper. I understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, on the map. you know, when I was, you know, Elephant Man, I had a segment, Elephant Man was teaching me like all the dance moves and he was like, you know, this one is the Gully Creeper. Remember the one that Bolt did? After yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. To the world. The and, you yeah, know, man. and shout out to you because, you know, Ice, who is not with us anymore, the dancer, is yeah. not with us anymore. You, but for, uh, you put him on the map for a while. And you are, you know, you've always had dancers. I saw your homecoming that you had. Exactly, in yeah, tonight. yeah. You had Ravers claim, you had, you had Mystic, shout out to all the dancers because they also are part of dancehall culture. And you've embraced all of that and taken it to the worldwide stage with yourself. You know, it's it's really unbelievable. Big up yourself. Yeah, man, respect, respect, man. It's something that I love, man. Music is just a part of part of me throughout the, just throughout the years. It's something that I've, I've loved and I will always will love, you understand? So for me, helping to... To build brand Jamaica is everything. You understand? We just want to do as much as possible for, for Jamaica to bring more tourists and just more more attention to the country itself so we can help to build and to make it a better place. Uh, how, when did you guys start vibing together? Well, I'm, Sham, I know Sham for a minute now. Him just a remind me, we just do an interview, I remind me the first time <laughs> after the meet, for sure, I'm so busy. I believe him is a busy uh, a sun fest. And yeah. he me in and say, yo, Sham is a master. And for me, those are memories. I mean, I say, yeah, true. That are the first time. So from them time they knew each other, I was link up throughout the years. You understand? And football at BB Garden. You understand? Big up BB, is it? I'm a general too. Yeah, man, yeah, legend. Him goes to Baman and link up. I say, yo, you know, him I say, yo, Sham, I'm a good man. I say, yo, yeah. And him link Sham and I say, Sham. A project how we are doing now. How you feel? And I must say, yeah, man. Anything that is just, you don't know if you know somebody like Baby Sham as a link. I must say, yeah, man. Right away. It was no back and forth. It was just an immediate, yeah, man. We do something for you. Don't say, right. Send me the rhythm. I make my vibes it. I make make you know. So, that's, that's what you call respect, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, you guys are talking about vibe and respect. Everything that people are really attracted to reggae and dance all about really i mean when you think about it the this small island and this genre has had such a huge impact on global culture and you know every time it goes back to this idea of is whether you guys are vibing together and you know you guys are like it seems like this energy is really a natural one which i don't think can work otherwise i'm assuming right like no know. it's natural it's natural 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 you find that when when from my experience when when you work with a producer whether it's a beat maker or an executive producer producer like we saying is right now when you have a chemistry with that individual where you hang out where you laugh where you party you tend to you tend to give it even more you know what I mean? Because certain things come out naturally that way. It's just like the chemistry with myself and Dave Kelly. It's like when I'm in the studio, I can know when Dave needs to do over back a line. He makes a certain look on his face like, what? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And it kind of put you back in that lickable idea. I said, sure, you know, I just mess up my life. All right, Jenna. You know what I mean? And at the same thing, even when we work on the song, I would like send, you see them 
the lines and we send them on the phone and we attack certain lines and I say, well, that sound good. Yeah, man, that sound all right. Bam, 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 bam. Let's, let's, let's put it all together. You know what I mean? So he's doing his part. And, and for me, when you're working with a producer, you look out for what they bring to the table, not just for what you bring into the table. And to say, oh, he and his team was hands-on. Even, even made me even more assured that it was the right thing to do. You know what I mean? Because they hands-on with everything. It's not like I'm talking to an engineer. If I'm, if I'm hit, hit, linking with the engineer in the studio, Hussein is there. NJ is there. I'm talking to NJ even more than Hussein. You know what I mean? On point. They're doing everything on point. So you have to give credit to the team. The team is doing very well. And they're pushing the music. And hopefully they can take it to, to, the, to the highest point. You know what I mean? A shout out to NJ also. And yeah, yeah. Well, it's, I guess it's teamwork makes dream work. And it seems like yeah. you guys are, are it. really doing that. I just want to point out, by the way, you know, you guys are getting love from all over the world. Just a few. Italy, India, Iran, Africa, lots of places. Yes, um, putting out our well wishes to India right now who are really going through it in the pandemic. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. That's part of what, what I want, why we wanted to really speak to you guys also, because this song is more than just having fun, as you have pointed out. You know, it's a very important song right now. And I just want to touch on some of the things that you say in the song. You know, we need to have a little fun before we go back to work. And, you know, from my experience of, and anybody's experience of coming to Jamaica, going into the dance hall, you know, when the dance hall stops, functioning there's a knock-on effect you know there's not it's not just the fact that we're having fun or the fact that people are dancing you're talking about the peanut man or the person who's selling the drinks and you chicken yeah the soup man soup man everything yeah. yeah, everything. And I think that's, that's one of the things that the government of Jamaica need to understand also, that Jamaicans are all depend on dance hall to, 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 to lift their spirit, you know what I mean? Yeah. To lift their spirit up and keep them spirit up because life is so hard and the dollar is so weak and, and, and the opportunities are so, are, are so small. This is what keeps them going a lot of time. The music, just going to the dance hall. A lot of them come to the dance hall to support us without even knowing how they're going to get back home. But they just want to come out and, and, and just let loose and clear their mind just for a minute. You know what I mean? Just for that two hours, they can forget about all their troubles, their trials, and just enjoy it for a moment. And you never know. That might save someone's life, you know. Yeah. Just that alone might save someone's life from jumping off somewhere. Well, it's interesting you say that because, you know, the dance hall is part of the community. You go there and, you, like you said, you let off some steam. You let off this. You talk about, like... The politics one of the in interesting lines you also has is have is election keep how they get th them say a pandemic you know it's yeah. the, the idea and this is something that i've always someone who's been brought up in england you know so england and jamaica they don't have exact dates for when an election can take place not like here in the us where you know we everyone knows so there was you know, you guys had your election like in the middle of the pandemic, right? And I even remember like a lot of artists supported the politicians with dub plates. And, yeah. you know, now we're kind of going backwards saying, I'm seeing a lot of things where you, Sham, actually address the pri a pr a prime minister's statement to say, you know, don't criticize dance hall for the high crime rates and you really are stuck you are a speaker for the people and you know you you're kind of seeming like a leader talking that way saying you didn't expect to have to do this and lead the country you're an artist but now you're taking another stance and isn't that always been a role that dance hall why dance hall is also important for the ghetto people for the people that need a voice because it seems like that is another big reason why dance hall needs to exist Dancehall was founded on that. Dancehall has always been, reggae music and dancehall has always been the people's voice. You know what I mean? So we as artists, we, we, we have to stick up and we have to stand up for the people. And if, if someone is going to attack my industry, I have to let him know respectfully that I think he's wrong. You know what I mean? Dancehall is not why the crime rate is there. Crime rate is there, is, is, is high because of the lack of opportunity, parenting, uh, poverty. Those are the three main contributions to... To, to why the crime rate is so high. 
And what, you know, you say, you know, life, re one of the things that really got me, one of the lines that really got me is rarely life treat us any other way, but unfairly. And you know, you no, that, that's how we feel. You can ask Hussein, he'll tell you the same. Everyone from where he's from, they feel like they haven't been treated fair over the years. They don't complain, they don't cry, they just go about it and they grind and they work. But they see other opportunities and other, other things come to, to people from other classes of, of, of the world. Not just in Jamaica. It's, it's, it's just a thing with the inner city and the rural areas of every country, you know what I mean? They, they, kind, of, they, kind, of, they, they, they kind of forget us at some point. And a lot of us are lucky as I would say both. Are, are a baby sham, you know what I mean? To, to, to really break out of that situation. And sometimes we, 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 we all stem, stem to, to go down the wrong path. And we have to find a way and kind of remember these people. So these youths that are coming won't be straight and go down that path, you know what I mean? When they go to colleges and they get there. Amazing!